present the story of Sri Adi Sankara. We request audience to be silent, to be able to hear them, and thereby encourage them, all cell phones to be off or mute. Over a thousand years ago, in the village of Kaladi, on the river Purna in Kerala, there lived a boys couple, Shivaguru and Ariyamba. Ariyamba, Ariyamba, tomorrow we shall go out on a pilgrimage to the temple of Chandramaleshwara at Trichur. Okay, Swami, as you wish. They reached the temple and spent the day worshipping Lord Shiva. That night, both of them had the very same dream, in which Lord Shiva says, You shall be blessed with either many ordinary sons or one extraordinary son who will not live long. You may choose. The bird, sir, give us the one extraordinary son. Full of joy, they returned home to Kaladi. Months passed. Then one bright day, at noon, a child was born to Ariyama. <coughs> On the eleventh day, he shall be named Shankara. Life. May you have a long and glorious life. When Sankara was five years old, he was invested with the sacred thread. May you have a long and glorious life. The students had to go out collecting alms from householders as part of their discipline. One day on such rounds, Bhavati Bikshan Dehi Bhavati Bikshan Dehi Bhavati Bikshan Dehi 
भवति भिक्षां देहि भवति भिक्षां देहि माय सन आई 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 एम शेम्ड आई हैव आई हैव ओनली एन आमला फूड टू ऑफर Sankara was deeply moved. Do not grieve, mother. May the blessings of the divine mother be yours. Angam hare pulaka bhushana maashrayanti. Soon mastered all scriptures and returned home. While at home, Sankara was always deep in thought. Kings at war and intolerant priests are destroying my country. This land needs unity. Spiritual unity comes first. National unity will follow. As a sannyasi, I shall achieve this. Mother, mother, I wish to leave home and become a sannyasi. I seek your permission. No, no, no! How can you bear to leave your mother? Besides, you must marry. I cannot let you go. I will not lose hope. I will not go without my mother's permission. One day she'll relent. I will wait. Sankara did not have to wait long. One evening, as he was bathing in the river. Mother! 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 I'm about to die. Give me your permission. Let me die as a sannyasi. Oh son, what is the use of my permission now? But to fulfill your wish if you must, I give you the permission to become a sannyasi. At that moment, The crocodile let go of the leg and disappeared. Mother, I'm safe. You had to live. You have great tasks ahead of you. Three days later, Sankara left home in search of a guru to be formally initiated as a sannyasi. Mother, I promise I'll come back when you need me. I know you will. Farewell. Lord Shiva be with you. Sankara. Sankara. Good luck. Sankara travels northwards till he reached the banks of River Narmada. There in a cave lived the sage Sri Govind the Bhagavat Pada and his disciples. Sankara approached the sage. Come, my son. प्र 
ಪ್ರಣೋ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವಾಜೇರ್ವಾಜಿನಿ ವತಿ ಧೀನಾಮಿತ್ರಿಯವತ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾಗಣಾಧಿಪತ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾಸರಸ್ವತ್ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಶಂಕರ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಅರೈವ್ ಡ್ಯಾಟ್ ಶಂಕರ ಗೇವ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಭಗವತ್ ಪಾದ ವಾಸ್ ಹೈಲಿ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಶಂಕರ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಐ ಶಿಲ್ ಡೇನ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನಾವು ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರ ವಾಸ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸ್ ಬೈ ನನ್ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ವೇದ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಕಾಶಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಆಫ್ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ಅಕಾಶಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶರ್ಮ a south indian scholar of the chola kingdom came to sri shankara oh venerable guru will you accept me as your disciple vishnu sharma became the closest disciple and was admitted into sankara's order of sanyasis One day at noon as Sri Sankara and his disciples were returning from River Ganga they encountered a hunter move, on the way Move move on the way move move why Guru Shankara he Shankara I am also Shankara You are also on the same soil as I am You also breathe the same air as I You also take the same sky as shelter as I. Whom shall I move? My body or my soul? You have seen the one, the one reality in all. You are indeed my guru. Your knowledge is profound. Advaita philosophy was thus born and Sri Sankara decided to travel by foot and impart the knowledge to all across Bharata. Sankara overpowered all the conflicting sources and restored Vedic dharma and Advaita Vedanta to its pristine purity. He used the weapon of knowledge and spirituality to remove seeds of adharma. Sri Sankara then planned to establish four major mats in four corners of Bharatam. Jyotir Mat in Badri Kashram was established by the Vishwarupani Vidhata Vachaspatir Baladeham Tanvo Adyada Dhadume Tunare Hiva One day when Sankara Charya was finishing his bath and heading to the ashram 
Giri was taking care of cleaning his guru's clothes. Let's wait for Giri to come and then we can begin. <laughs> Giri is so stupid. He wouldn't really miss this session. I think we all should start, Guruji. Hi, Giri. We were waiting for you. Oh, my Guru. Vidita Kila Shastra Sudha Jaladhe Mahito Panishat Pratithar Danidhe Vidita Kila Shastra Sudha Jaladhe Mahito Panishat Pratithar Danidhe Kiri recited eight verses in the Totaka B, praising his Guru. This Astakam is now popular as Totakastakam. Repeat Drokrong Karana, Drokrong Karana, Drokrong Karana, Drokrong Karana, Drokrong Karana, Drokrong Karana. Drokron karana, drokron karana. Drokron karana, drokron karana. The soul is not awakened by perfecting mere book learning. Worship the Lord Govinda and let not the soul become numb. Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, Govindam, Bhaja Mudhamate, Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam. Govindam bhaja mudhamate Samprapte sannihite kale Samprapte sannihite kale Nahi nahi rakshati dukrin karane Nahi nahi rakshati dukrin karane Bhaja govindam Bhaja govindam Govindam bhaja mudhamate Once at Kashi, Sri Sankara called out to his disciple Sanandana who is on the other side of the river bank. Sanandana! Sanandana! Come here! Gurudeva! I'm coming! So strong was his belief that he walked over the river. At every step, a lotus emerged to hold his feet. A wonder! Hence, you shall be called as Padma Padacharya. I shall establish Dwarka Mat here to safeguard Samaveda. You shall be the Sankaracharya for Dwarka Mat. <laughs> Sri Sankara
Mishra traveled to Mahishmati where Mandana Mishra lived. Mandana Mishra was not happy to see him. Inauspicious! 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 Why are you here, Sanyasi? You do not care for rituals. Your Guru wants me to discourse with you on the eternal truth. Salutations to the Mother Saraswati, the mother of all learning. How can a sannyasi who has no experience as a householder claim complete knowledge? I accept your verdict. Please give me time to gain worldly knowledge. Sankara transfers himself into a king's body and experiences the king's life, thereby understanding the worldly experiences. After a few days, he returns to his original body and presents himself before Mandana Mishra. You may begin the debate now. As the flowers in either garland fade, I will know whose faith has faded. I hold that worship and rituals make for happiness for both here and thereafter. Rituals do not bring the highest happiness. Complete knowledge through Vedas is the only answer, for such knowledge reveals the only, the one reality. The debate continued for a few days. At that moment, the flowers in Mandana Mishra's garland wilted and faded. You win, Acharya. I am your humble disciple. You shall be called Sureshwara Charya. Sankara Charya established a mud in Sringeri with Sureshwara Charya as its first Acharya. Sarada was worshipped here. A rich man meets Sri Sankara with his son. Acharya, my son is dumb and stupid. Please, please, Acharya, use him. The boy trained in the ashram and Sri Sankara ordained him as a sannyasi. You are an advanced soul, and henceforth, you shall be Hasta Kamala Charya. Govardhan Mat in Puri Orissa. Most prominent Sankaracharya of this mud, Swami Bharati Krishna Tirtha, introduced the Vedic mathematics. 
The other popular muds, which have several branches across the width and breadth of India, is Kanchi Kamakoti mud. To glorify Om, the Pranava Mantra, which is part of all the Vedas, he established the Kamakoti Pitam. Sri Sankaracharya ascended the Sarvagnya Pitam at Kanchi and was the first Pitadipati, head of Sri Kanchi Kamakoti Pitam. At the age of 32, Sri Adi Shankaracharya was nearing his time to depart from this materialistic world. A large group of simple householders went to him and begged him to teach them in simple terms how to attain mukti. Since they could not follow all his pashyas, which are too complex for them to understand, the most compassionate acharya composed, Upadesha Panchakam. Papau gaf paridhu yatam, bhava sukhe dosho no sandhi yatam. Atme chav yavasi yatam, nijagriha turnam vinirgam yatam. Jaya Jaya Shankar Har Har Shankar Jaya Jaya Shankar Har Har Shankar Jaya Jaya Shankar Har Jaya Jaya Shankar Har Har Shankar Har Jaya Jaya Shankar Jaya Jaya Shankar Har Har Shankar Jaya Jaya Shankar Har Har Shankar Har Har Shankar Jaya Jaya Shankar